What's up everybody, I'm back with another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to create a hunger, thirst, health and stamina system and also I added a couple of new items that you noticed, medical box, energy drink and a water bottle. Uh, you can find these down in the description box down below. I already created uh, pre-made blueprints for them and the new assets will be down in the description box of this video and also they are already replicated so watch the inventory replication video as well if you haven't so we have picked up our items and uh, the only thing that you need to uh, notice what I've done with these items is that for the health uh, medical box the type is health and for the energy drink the type is stamina for the water bottle it's water and for the carrot it's food so we will work with these types and uh, these types will determine which stat we are um, restoring so now we can go to our third person character first and actually create these stats so I already have a health and a max health and also I will add a couple of more floats and so first one is going to be a hunger of a float type oh my god there we go float type and the next one is going to be max hunger then thirst max thirst stamina and max stamina and I will categorize these under the player stats so I'm gonna adjust these like so so now they are nicely categorized and uh, I will compile and I will set some default values let's say hunger like 50 well actually let's make this full hunger will be full max hunger is going to be 100 thirst is going to be 100 max thirst is going to be 100 stamina well I will not have a sprint yet I will do that in a different video so I'm not gonna make that full so we would see how we restore this and let's begin by creating the hunger and thirst system so that we would eventually like get actually hungry so I'm gonna find a free space and I'm gonna do this over here and I'm gonna do a event tick and over here we will do a delay and we will delay this for let's say a second and uh, after this delay we are going to do a sequence and we are going to set our hunger so after a while our hunger will go down and we need the current hunger so get hunger and minus the value uh, for which we want to lower this hunger so for me it's going to be one so I'm gonna get hungry pretty fast and after this we're going to do a check to see if our hunger is smaller or equal to zero there we go and also one more thing that we need to do is select our hunger variable and we need to set the value range so the minimum is going to be zero and the maximum we will leave as it is there we go and if this is true if our hunger is empty then we're going to lose our health and we're going to get our current health and we're again doing float minus float and again I'm gonna do this just like one well actually for the hunger we might do like let's say 0.5 and we're gonna do one for the uh, thirst 
because humans need uh, water more than we need food. Uh, we can survive longer without food than without drink. So the next one we are going to set our thirst and it's going to be the same thing as over here. We're going to get our whoops, get our thirst. We're going to do float minus float and let's say we're gonna do two like so and then we are going to just copy this whole thing over here to save time and we're gonna check if our thirst has gone lower and actually I might just set this for all of my uh, stat variables of a value range minimum to zero so that we wouldn't go below this there we go and I'm gonna make this one so we would lose more health if we are thirsty there we go and the next thing we should print these out on the screen and I will do this by going to our UI HUD and we already have a health so I'm gonna rename this to health bar and I'm gonna add more of these bars so I'm gonna search for a progress bar and I'm gonna add it over here I'm gonna move this closer like so and make the same size as this one is so this is like 545 555 there we go and I'm gonna fill this a bit and this is going to be hunger and I'm going to make this like dark green like so and I will just duplicate this a couple of times like so and once more there we go and I'm gonna change the color for the third one to blue since that's going to be our thirst and the stamina I'm gonna change this to yellow orange sort of like that and I'm gonna rename these to hunger bar thirst bar and stamina bar there we go and we already have a binding for our uh, hunger bar it's over here and I'm just gonna rename this to health bar uh, get health bar like so and I'm gonna select the next one and I'm going to do another binding on the progress so create binding and I'm gonna call this yeah get hunger bar like it was already called there we go and what I'm gonna do over here is do a cast to third person character and if you already have my health bar you already know what we need to do we need to get a owning player pawn of this widget and then we need to get our hunger and we need to get our max hunger and we need to divide our hunger by our max hunger so that we would get a value from uh, 0 till 1 and that is because if we go to our designer and let's select the next one for example here we have this percent progress and it goes from 0 till 1 empty till full and I'm gonna do a new binding for the next one and again cast to third person character get owning player pawn get thirst get max thirst divide these and connect to return value 
And the last one is stamina. Another cast. Owning player pawn. Get stamina. Get max stamina. Divide. And connect to return value. There we go. So compile and save. And now I think that's it. Let's press play. And we can see how our hunger and thirst is slowly going down. So right now if we eat a carrot, which we already created in a previous tutorial, we are restoring our health, but we will need to change this so would we, we would restore our hunger. And if we wait long enough, we can see that our health is also going down slowly and our character is slowly dying. So, let's feed him. Her, actually. So, how do we do that? I'm gonna go to my item info widget. I'm gonna open this because I'm already here. But first, um, before I do any blueprints over here, um, uh, actually, we can check that here we have this restore health function and we need functions for all of our stats. So, in the third person character, we can find our restore health function which looks like so pause the video to copy this and I'm just going to duplicate this and I'm gonna call this restore hunger and I'm just going to change these variables so I'm gonna delete the health over here and change this to hunger delete the health again and set this to set hunger reconnect the pins back and max health to max hunger and and I'm gonna delete these and hunger set to max hunger so basically if you haven't watched the previous videos what we are doing here is we are restoring our health uh, our hunger by the given amount that we pass through then we are checking if the hunger is not uh, is big if the hunger is bigger than our max hunger then we are setting our hunger to our max hunger so that we wouldn't uh, go beyond our max value that we have set and I'm gonna do the same functions for all of my stats so restore thirst and the restore stamina There we go. So we have our four functions. Now we can go to our item info. And I might actually do some more adjusting with the blueprint locations. So I'm going to move these down like so. I might center this. And I'm going to add a couple of more pens. One, two, three. And I'm going to move these up over here and over here and the first one is going to be health and these types need to be like I showed you these types so health stamina water and food so health food uh, water and stamina 
and I will move this actually I don't need to move this since this is restore health so I'm just gonna reconnect this to health and for the food I'm gonna do a cast to third person character and I'm gonna show you this maybe if you haven't watched the previous videos but if you have you can just copy this and the next thing what I'm gonna do as third person character I'm going to remove an item and the item that I'm gonna remove is this item that we are currently in right now and I'm going to remove just one item the next thing what I'm gonna do is check if we have removed this and if we have removed this then I'm going to as third person character restore hunger whoops and the amount needs to be this from this value where we are breaking our item info so I will do a reroute over here connect this like so and now we can do some more rerouting to make it look nicer and we can do a clear HUD event function event whatever and the create inventory UI and there we go as simple as that so I will move this up a bit and now since I'm very very lazy and I don't want to do this all the time I'm just going to copy these a couple of times there we go connect the objects so this is going to be stamina this is going to be water we are removing the item and then we are restoring our stat and we don't need actually this reroute I actually accidentally copied it so we can delete these and create so this is water so restore thirst connect the amount and restore stamina and connect the amount there we go great as simple as that and one more thing that we need to do is here on the hovered unhovered we need to actually copy this switch so we do, don't have don't have to recreate it all the time so I'm just going to place this over here delete this one reconnect the pins so type the selection and connect all of these like so and same goes for this switch as well for the unhovered event there we go there we go there we go whoops awesome so now if we compile and save go to the game so we are losing our stats so let's pick up some medical boxes some energy drinks some water bottles and some carrots press I and now we can see if we hover over an item it says click to use so let's start with let's heal ourselves so let's use a medical box boom we are healing awesome and let's drink an energy drink we are restoring our stamina and let's drink some water and eat some carrots so as simple as that this was very very simple and fast tutorial if you watch the previous videos then I don't think this uh, gave you any problems with the following and uh, yeah see you guys in the next video leave a comment down below let's chat and uh, bye